Well, this day is already starting off great. I um, I didn't have work early t today. So, I forgot about alternate side parking since I'm still new here. And I literally heard the street cleaner coming and I ran out in my pajamas like a crazy person. But I still got a ticket. This sucks, $50. I didn't make a um, budget slot for parking tickets in my budget, so it's gonna have to come out of my free money, which makes me really sad. But it was my fault. I should have read the signs properly made the proper arrangements and alarms to make sure I go move my car, but I just forgot. I didn't take the responsibility. And now my lesson is learned. I kinda wanna cry though. I'm like angry and sad and down. It's a little childish, to be honest, but I felt like because yesterday I didn't have any motivation to do any of the things I did, like work out and clean and do all of that, that and I did it anyway, that today should all be like put together. It's like magic, everything is better. And then it's, it sucks. And now work is texting me about all this kind of stuff, and inventory stuff, which I hate so much. <laughs> but I need to just stop complaining. I need to realize just because I did what I'm supposed to one day doesn't magically make everything better. I have to do it every day. That's the point of a habit. I have to do it every day. Whether I'm happy, sad, down, whether I get a parking ticket or win the lottery, I have to do it every day. And I was also upset about like Instagram. Uh, I'm really easily influenced by social media, like seeing people like have fun and do things and I'm like, oh no, I'm just doing laundry. I need to stop comparing myself to that and comparing numbers and likes and I kind of feel like this YouTube thing too is I like my one meal a day video that went viral was kind of like <laughs> not good for me because all of a sudden I had all these views and comments and attention and and I, I made money out of it you know I made like a thousand dollars out of that and it was like oh my god now I can make this a business it ended up going just for me to like a, a, another source of income and I feel like I got greedy it's like a really ugly part of me I don't want to pay attention to a very human part of me that cares about numbers and views and popularity and things like that I went from grateful to greedy and now it's like stagnant and I'm like well I'm unhappy because the numbers aren't going up instead of being so grateful and thankful for for what I have. The fact that I went from zero to a million is amazing and I need to be grateful for that. Today is gonna be a good day to practice gratefulness. It's a succulent word, full of sunlight and flavor. If only frugal sounded so. It's that magic word, enough. The peak of the fulfillment curve the jumping off point for a life of being fulfilled, of learning, and of contributing. I'm doing it. 
my favorite thing in the whole world, inventory. <sighs> so of course there's food, and of course I'm gonna take some to go. I was making a black bean burrito, but now I'm thinking that's a bad idea. It's gonna get soggy. Hmm. Uh, hi, I did it. I did today. I did the inventory. Um, actually, one of my coworkers helped me later, and we played Christmas music, and it wasn't so bad. And then as soon as we finished, it literally was like five hours of that. When we finished, um, we got a call like, oh, patient's coming down from the floor, their heart stopped, like, they're coming into the lab right now, and I'm like, I'm ready for this. This is what I'm, this is what I do. But all the paperwork and inventory is important pro proponent of that. Oh, shit. I just realized, I was gonna say, and I took food to go for later, because why not? But I forgot it. I'm gonna go get it. I left it in the clinic. My food. This is why my budget's gonna be so good this month. <laughs> this should make up for the $50 parking ticket in food budget. So, before I go home, I just wanted to take some time and go on a short little walk to talk things out and reflect on my day today. So this morning, I felt very frustrated. I just felt like I've been working hard these last couple of days on myself and that even with that, I'm still not enough. I'm never gonna be enough. I'm never gonna get my life in order. And then I was just upset, like the stupid car and the stupid ticket. And then I went home and checked YouTube. All I saw was like negative numbers and red color because that's expected. The reason I got so many views was because of a fluke of a viral video. <sighs> and then I went on Instagram. Instagram to feel better. And saw like people doing Instagram people things. And then, and then I changed and I saw my body and I was like, Ugh, I've been doing fasting and I've been working out. I mean, it's only been like four days, but I'm never gonna lose the weight. I'm never gonna have the abs. I'm never gonna have a good body. And then I got texted from work telling me, you have to do the inventory for the hospital today. And I was just like, ugh, I hate inventory. Now I wanna take the same list of things that I just mentioned and I wanna look at them a little bit differently. The car. I am grateful for the lesson learned and I'm grateful I have a reliable working car to get me where I need to and I'm grateful I have the funds to pay for a surprise ticket. And then for YouTube, I am so grateful for the community so far on YouTube. I'm grateful for everybody who commented and just I need to like not focus on the numbers because these are individual people who watch my stuff and support and comment. It, it's you guys. Thank you. As for Instagram, Instagram, you know what Instagram is. What are you doing on there? Though to be fair, I did have a sweet message from Marina. Hi, if you're watching this, who watched my videos and sent me a really nice message and on Instagram and I opened it and it made my day and then for my body my poor body had to deal with so much abuse the last couple of years my whole life almost uh, me not taking care of it not eating properly not exercising and it still manages to keep me upright and healthy and working and I'm grateful for that and my job I'm grateful for my job, not just for the paycheck, but for the people I work with who are wonderful to me. And I'm grateful for the job, the work I get to do. I have the privilege of, of helping people and we try to make people feel better. So since I wanna take care of myself and do something fun, I'm gonna do some Bollywood dancing and then some stretches with like low impact Pilates type to finish up for 15 minutes.
I did it. Thank you, body. You apple-shaped body. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I changed into my pajamas. I cleared out laundry on the bed. I posted my video another day and um, now it's time for some TLC. My pity party is was over before it started thanks to keeping a positive mindset maybe positive mindset and practicing gratefulness is not as useless as it used to sound to me uh, but anyway i will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog thank you for watching as always and take care take care of yourself have a good night and a good morning and a good day bye